Thanks for coming back and visiting us. Stay tuned to watch some really cool videos and talk about some behind the scenes things happening here at the aquarium. Today, we will be observing some feeding in the Ancient Fishes exhibit, which is located in our temperate gallery on the second floor. This exhibit is full of fish that challenge our idea of what a fish is supposed to look like, while also giving us examples of how not all fish do things the same way. The fish we will be feeding during this video are called elephant nose fish, and you will also get a chance to see our African arowana take a bite or two as well. First, let's take a look at the types of food being offered today. The first bowl has frozen mysis shrimp, the second has frozen bloodworms, and the third has live blackworms. Normal food items for our elephant noses and the African arowana, but this is definitely making me appreciate the bowl of cereal I had this morning a lot more. As the food begins to go down into the tank, you'll notice our aquarist using a tube at the top of the screen. This sends the food down towards the bottom of the tank, which is where the elephant nose fish prefer to hang out and where they would normally be looking for food in their natural habitat. While you're seeing other fish in the exhibit, such as the African arowana, ropefish, and a Delhazy biker, the five species of elephant nose fish are the stars of this video. Look at those funny noses, technically referred to as rostrums. Elephant nose fish use them to aid in electrically sensing their prey, an ability they share with sharks and stingrays. You'll notice many pushing their rostrums into the sediment to find food. Another amazing fact about elephant noses is that they have one of the largest brains relative to the size of their body of any fish or really any animal. This big brain helps to operate that electroreception. Okay, we'll let the elephant nose fish and their exhibit mates finish eating. Feedings and other cool parts of animal care continue to happen throughout the aquarium, and we hope to keep bringing you the inside scoop. So, thanks for tuning in, and come back and virtually visit us again.